welcome to Creator Spotlight. We are here today with Dad, aka Kirk, and the entire Comedy Barn crew. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Banana Man. <laughs> I'm Infinity. Number ten. I'm I'm Murph and this is Albert. I'm Grandpa. I'm Nick Cage. Keep on. Okay, I'm James Bevion. <laughs> I am Handsome Satan. Six six six. KJB Spender. Hello, I'm Swift Bear is he man, but you can call me Swift Bear and Hi. Oh, there's two more people that are also admins, by the way. Uh, okay. Uh, Spartan, he should be here soon. Pretty Princess is one, and we also have uh, Moody Marlow. All okay. right, so that is the entire Comedy Barn crew. Um, Kirk, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, hi, uh, I'm, I'm Dad, a.k.a. Kirk. I own this room here. This is one of the funniest shows on Rec Room. I am a 19-year-old fry cook. Uh... One that always wanted to be like Spongebob, so I'm living the dream. Um, also, I live in the state of Tennessee. I love NASCAR. I love women. What platform That's do you play me. on? Oh, I play on a PC so I can have more fun. So how long have you been playing Rec Room for? Oh, great question. Uh, I've been playing Rec Room, believe it or not, since uh, February. Uh, what I, what I, what actually is kind of funny about this, uh, it's because I'm a comedian and I have to make everything I say funny. Um, <laughs> so the fun thing is with this is that I got Oculus twice. Uh, really? So what it was is that, like, I tried, I ordered it through the mail on, like, internet and stuff, and I found out that it wouldn't get here till Monday, you know, because the weekend. And I was like... I don't want to have that happen. I lived up in Montana at the time, and I lived three hours away from the nearest Best Buy. So I was like, eh, it's worth the trip. Friday night, I drove all the way three hours just to buy another headset. Oh, man. And I hooked it up, and I got on Rec Room for the first time that night. Got hooked immediately. And uh, about when Monday, the thing came in the mail. I was like, okay, I have two Oculuses. Um, let's send one back. So, <laughs> <laughs> so aside from the comedy barn, I know you've got some racetrack rooms. What kind of stuff really inspires you when you're yeah. building in Rec Room? I love racetracks. I love racing. That's just my favorite thing in the world. And I beat everybody in the RC cars. We do this thing where we pretty much uh, build banking, which is I first saw the first racetrack on Rec Room. Yeah, it was a great racetrack, uh, and I, I was inspired. So I was like, yeah, I want to do that. Uh, so I wanted to build a smoother racetrack. So I built uh, Bristol Motor Speedway was the first build, and it was a success, major success. Uh, right now we have about 1,000 visitors in there, which is good for me. I was happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, a, lot, a lot of people like it, but we trans, uh, and now we've built Martinsville Speedway. These are all based off of real life tracks. And right. The most recent, the one I'm most proud of is uh, Kingsport Speedway. Um, it's a great racetrack, and it's actually based off of a racetrack in Kingsport, Tennessee. Uh, they race every Friday night, so if you want to see some good racing, Kingsport Speedway. Nice. So, what's your process for designing a space like this? Oh, great question. Uh, whenever I started working on this, uh, really, uh, this, since this is a real racetrack in real life, um, I go to it every Friday. Uh, it's a great racetrack. Uh, in this place, uh, I pretty much just have it photo memory in my head, just like I know what it looks like. Right. So I, it's not, this is not perfect, of course not, but I start off everything in small scale. Like, I always like doing it small scale and with snap mode, unless I want it to look a little rougher, then you just rough it out. And also with um, whenever you're doing banking or making banked racetracks, definitely do not turn on snap. It will screw everything up. <laughs> uh, it'll just be bumpy. It will be terrifying, and the people will never want to ride on it. Believe it or not, out of all, all this that you see, right. the hardest part is not anything huge. It's this corner. This right. corner right here turns three and four right before the start finish line. Because whenever I first built that, it was meant in small scale, and it looked perfect in small scale. But once you enlarge it, the bumps were like went from like like minuscule, like you can't even see it, to like right. two feet. And also look at photos on the internet if you're doing stuff that you've never been to. Like I've also built a racetrack called Daytona Speedway. It's a great place, and it's, everybody knows Daytona International Speedway, Daytona Beach, Florida. Do you have any tips for new creators just getting started? Okay, if you're trying to make a comedy show, talk to me first. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> anywho, um, my, my advice to you is listen to the people who are level 30 or listen to the people who have been here longer than you have. Because as soon as you understand what the game's about and you learn from people who have been here, then you will go far. When I first started, all I did was play paintball and yell at kids. I kind of grew out of that and actually... Um, 
made friends that way. And I met my, my first friend that I ever made on here was actually CGB. The thing is, make friends. That's the number one thing. Because once you make one friend, he leads you to another. He leads you to another. And they all help you in building things. Like, most of my creations that aren't racetracks were built with the help of others. All right. Well, thank you to Dad, a.k.a. Kirk, for joining us this week. You're welcome. Also, please like and subscribe for more Rec Room-related content. Also, if you're interested, come to the Comedy Barn. It's on every day at midnight. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you next week on Creator's Spotlight. Bye. Woo! Okay. Did he just dab walking across the stage? Oh, my God. He probably did. <laughs>